Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga and today we are going to do a wonderful calming yoga practice. Thanks for joining me so much. Um, if you've got a bolster handy, otherwise grab a pillow or a blanket, something that can be supportive that we are going to use um, a little bit later and uh, just have it handy. So let's get started today, my friends. And we're going to cross those legs, sitting up nice and tall, rolling our shoulders up and back, and allowing those shoulders to slide down and away. Take a moment, do that shoulder roll once more. Make it big. Let those shoulders just gently slide down and away. Rest your hands comfortably. Turn your palms to face the sky. Drape the wrists over the knees. Index finger and thumb gently come to touch. Close your eyes. Feel the length in your spine, the length and depth of each breath you take. We take a moment to quiet the mind and the body, to bring awareness to our breath. to recognize and honor where we are in our practice today. Oftentimes that mind can be super busy, constant chatter within that mind can keep us on edge, make us a little anxious, uh, focusing on our breath and allowing that mind to just gently quiet soothing and calming on all, all on its own. It might take a moment. Give yourself permission to be still, to be present, to be kind. Let's gently bring the hands to the outsides of the hips, pressing your palms down towards the earth. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, exhale, lowering that right ear towards your right shoulder. And just gently pressing that left palm down towards the earth. As you exhale, a slow turn of your gaze up towards the sky. Keep leaning that head to the right. And just breathe. Gently turning that right ear back over the shoulder face towards the front. And we lift that head back to neutral. And then slowly let that head fall to the left. Left ear over the left shoulder. A gentle press of that right palm down towards the earth. As you exhale, slowly turn your gaze upward. Keeping that head tilted to the left. Close your eyes, a little stretch in the jaw, in the neck, and gently we turn that left ear back towards the shoulder, face to the front, and lift that head back to neutral and gently release the chin down. Breathe. Now we can keep the palms pressing down towards the earth, or if you wish, bringing the hands around behind you, coming into reverse prayer. Chin still down towards the chest, finding that breath. And slowly lift your gaze. Once again, lean your head to the right. and back to center and to the left. And back to center. Release your arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. As you exhale, release your tummy and chest down towards that right thigh. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, roll it back open and reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, release that left hand. Right arm comes up and over. Both sit bones remain on the earth. As you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, roll it open. And we rise. Both arms come up. 
One more time. Let's take it to the right. Up and over. Oh, reach, reach, reach. As you exhale, turn. Bringing the tummy and chest down towards that right thigh. We open it back up. And reach. Both arms come up. Last time to the left. Take it up and over. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest down. Inhale it open. And reach. Both arms come up. Turn your palms to face front, and as you exhale, pull those elbows back and down. Slide those shoulder blades down, opening up that chest. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, release your hands all the way down. Let's grab that bolster. If you've got it handy, otherwise, no worries. And we're just going to come forward, kind of hugging the bolster, allowing the forehead to come to rest. Now you can have that bolster in your lap. So depending upon how tight your legs are, your hips are, yep, you can just come forward. You can even stack it a little bit higher, allowing the forehead to come to rest. Feels better to you having it down? Yeah, have it down. If you prefer not to have it at all, it's always an option as well. Just allowing that upper body to be heavy and to sink. Big, full, deep breaths. And slowly walk those hands up. Let's take that left foot off to the side. And again, we're going to keep that bolster. Don't have to have it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. And go ahead and walk those hands back out. You can stack your hands. You can let your forehead just rest against that bolster. I just want you to let that body be heavy. You can turn cheek to the mat or to the bolster. Just whichever direction feels the very best to you. On those days, we just need a little extra love. We need to let down all the craziness in the mind, the body, calming that parasympathetic nervous system, finding that sense of inner peace. Letting go of any energies that are not serving us well today. Hindering us from being our very best. Let them go. Let's go ahead and walk it back up. And we're going to shift that bolster just to the front of that right knee. And then we're going to go ahead and come on down onto that leg. Now you might need to shift your arms. You can stack your hands. Again, you can have them on either side. You can rest on your forearms if that bolster just feels like it's in the way. Yep. You can stack fists. So whatever feels the very best to you, make that so. And let's go ahead and walk those hands back up. Right hand to the outside of your hip, left arm up and over, and let's sway side to side four times, two each way. Up and over, just moving with your breath. Feels a little different than when those legs are crossed in easy pose. One more time to the left. Mm, and release that hand down, and let's switch sides. So now those legs are off to the right. Grab that bolster if you wish. You don't have to. Right out in front of that left shin. And let's walk it forward. Again, however you wish for those hands or the arms to be. Again, you can turn cheek to the floor or to your bolster. Letting go of any tension in the neck, the hip, the lower back. So oftentimes we can hold negative energy in those hips, in our joints, but those hips in particular. Give yourself permission to let it go.
And let's go ahead and walk those hands back up. And we shift that bolster to the knee. And again, don't have to have it. Right out in front of that left knee, we turn that torso and slowly come forward. Stacking your hands however you wish. Extending those arms. Whatever is right. Getting into that left hip. Letting go through the lower back. Connecting your breath to the release of negative energies, tension, tightness. The power of your exhale, letting go of anxiety, worry, tension. Again, anything that's hindering us from being our very best version of ourself. Each inhale, drawing in positive energy and awareness. Each exhale, letting go of any darkness. Always working to promote the light within. And let's go ahead and come on back up. Let's turn and extend those legs out nice and long. Taking that bolster, that pillow, that blanket, whatever you need, placing it on your thighs. We lengthen and hinge forward. Mm, and just let yourself come forward, allowing the head to be heavy, just kind of hugging around that bolster or taking the hands down towards your feet. Let your head be heavy. with the support just under the tummy. Nice stretch in that lower back. Nice stretch in the hamstrings. We lengthen through the crown of the head and breathe. Let's bring the hands to the outsides of the legs and pull those toes back. And breathe. Feel that length in the spine. Now slowly sit up nice and tall. And let's pull those feet in, soles of the feet together, resting the bolster, resting the arms. If you like, turn your palms to the sky, index finger and thumb to touch. Otherwise, just find a comfortable place for the hands to rest. We sit tall, close the eyes, and breathe. As we find release through the hip joint, we feel a little bit lighter, giving permission that tension to remain away. Each breath drawing in healing energy for those hips. Loving, calming energy for those hips. We bring the hands around behind us. Fingertips point towards the bottom. Let's press and lift the chest towards the sky. Draw those shoulder blades towards one another. Breathe. Now, if you happen to have that bolster or blanket just resting on the feet in your lap, just noticing a little sense of security with that weight against those feet. It feels nice. It's kind of like a heavy blanket. Breathe and gently releasing back to a neutral spine, coming forward, placing that bolster off in front or off to the side. Let's sweep those feet around. We're going to place our hands, stacking them one on top of the other, on top of the bolster or the pillow, and we're going to slowly, gently sit it back to child's pose with those hands raised slightly off the floor. Just a nice stretch through the shoulders. If that is not great for you, Go ahead and remove that bolster and just have the hands on the floor. Now 
Uh, let's shift so that the other hand is on top. Noticing that slightest bit of difference as we switch those hands. And then go ahead and open up those hands so they're not stacked but resting side by side. Feeling your body gently sink, a beautiful stretch through the shoulders, into that upper middle back. And let's slowly walk the hands up. Come over onto your hip. Sweep your feet back around. We're going to slide that bolster around behind us. Placing that bolster or that pillow right just behind your bum. And we're going to go ahead and lean back onto it. Allowing the head to be heavy. Now you're welcome to add support behind the head with a block or an extra pillow, but I would recommend having your chest higher than your head, allowing that chest to open. Now the knees can be bent or you can extend those legs out long. Open your palms to the sky. Let your legs relax. Just feel those feet naturally roll open as you let go through the pelvis, through the glutes. Palms open to the sky, just fingers nice and soft. Big, full, deep breaths. Now another variation, if you wish, much more active, challenging pose, fish pose. So this is our supported fish pose with those arms out. But you are welcome to come to your fish pose if you prefer. Find your breath, slow it down. Let's draw that left knee in, crossing your right ankle just above the left knee. And breathe. Always the add-ons, the additions, the modifications, the intensifications, they are all for you to take advantage of or just ignore. So you can just let those legs be long. We place that right foot to the mat and cross the left foot, allowing that left knee to open out to the side. That figure four. We open our heart, we get those big deep breaths in, quieting, engaging that vagus nerve, that parasympathetic nervous system, quieting that fight or flight response, releasing that left foot, feet are right up by your bottom. Let's lift the head, breathe, and release. Inhale, lift the head and release one more time lift the head and release we press through those heels lifting and releasing that bolster placing that bolster off to the right side extend those arms out to a t right leg extends we lift that left knee and slowly bring it across the body placing that right hand to the outside of the knee and allow your leg that left leg to just rest against the pillow or your bolster and turn and take your gaze out over that left arm close your eyes that sense of calm 
inner peace, well-being. Just moving through the body. Connecting the mind and body through the breath. We release that right hand and slowly come back through center, extending that left leg out, transitioning the bolster to the left side. Arms out to a T, drawing that right knee in and crossing all the way over the body. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. And we turn and take our gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes and let your body be heavy. Slow, steady, deep breaths. Tolerance, forgiveness, love, care, kindness. Taking care today to rejuvenate, to find that sense of calm within us and around us. Giving yourself permission to let go of the things that don't promote that sense of calm today. Releasing that left hand, we roll it back to center. Let's place one foot right by the bottom and then the other. Now we're going to slide that bolster underneath us once again, just supporting at your bottom. And we're going to bring the knees together, feet slightly apart, toes slightly turned inward. And breathe. Heel toe those feet in, draw one knee in towards your chest and then the other. So that bolster is just kind of at the small of your back, just above the tailbone, kind of just about at waistline and bring the hands to the shins or you can just let them rest. We're going to let the weight of those knees just gently be drawn in towards the chest. Nice little pressure in that upper back. Massaging, making sure that it feels right to you. If you like, begin to extend those legs a little or a lot. And just let them be heavy. We're not forcing anything, we're just letting it happen. Long stretch on the backs of the legs. Amazing little release in that lower back. Great stretch through that lower lumbar region of your spine. We keep that left leg long, bending that right knee. Extending that right leg, bending the left knee. Just letting gravity do the work for you. Once again, bend both knees. Gently placing one foot to the mat just beyond that bolster. Feel that nice stretch all through the hip flexor. We pull one knee in. And then the other leg comes down, foot just right beyond the bolster, and just that nice little stretch to the hip flexor on the other leg. Gently place both feet to the mat, lift through those hips, 
pulling that bolster out from underneath you, and then ever so slowly, one vertebra at a time, coming back down to the mat. We once again heel toe those feet open, toes are slightly turned inward, and we let those knees come to touch. Find your breath. You can rest your hands on your hips. That gentle connection with the hips. Once again, promoting letting go of any tension or tightness within that hip joint. Let's go ahead and turn those toes outward. Arms come out to a T or a low V making sure your bolster is out of the way. And we're just gonna rock the knees side to side. Your pace, eyes closed, just allowing gravity to gently pull the knees one direction, actively transitioning to the other and then allowing gravity to pull. One more time each direction. And slowly coming back to center, drawing the knees in towards the chest, hands to the shins. Give them a nice little tug in. However you wish, a safe way to come back up to a seated position. We sit up nice and tall, resting the hands, close your eyes. However you wish to rest those hands, we breathe. In and out through the nose. A quiet mind. A calm heart, calm body. Feeling that sense of peace and well-being throughout our being, inside and out. We gently pull the hands to heart center, a gentle tuck of your chin towards your chest, and just a moment of gratitude to find this peaceful place. For the self-awareness to know that we needed a little simpler, quieter practice today. Drawing our awareness deeper inside. May this sense of calm stay with you throughout your day, into the evening, in a quiet, restful sleep. May you awaken rejuvenated and energized. I wish you well, my friend. Gently lift your gaze, open those beautiful eyes. And thank you for joining me. Be well, take care of yourself, and as always, light, love, and namaste.